Well, I'll say 2020 has been the most craziest year, but not craziest year for video games such as Nintendo. Welcome, guys, to the Holiday Gift Guide of 2020. And today, we'll be covering for you guys what will be the best holiday gift for you and your family. And before I start this video, um, if you guys remember, um, Nintendo has stopped making 3DS games over the year. Now, they have discontinued the Nintendo 3DS family, and that is a big, big sad thing, um, especially those who weren't able to get it. Um, this is the new Super Mario Bros. pre-installed, new Super Mario Bros. 2 pre-installed 2DS um, in the crimson red. Um, I did have the, if you guys remember, I did have the blue 2DS with pre-installed My Kart 7, and I was able to pick up a, oh, that's Smash Bros, a copy, a new copy of My Kart 7, so, so, you know, wasn't planning on upgrading this anyways, if I didn't want to, it'll probably be the, um, the new Nintendo 2DS XL, um, but, just as the console it is, and then I'll just put my SD card from there to that console, but you know, I don't need it, so I'm happy with this one anyway, so yeah, got this from the case I have this one. So that said that um, Nintendo discontinued um, the 3DS family um, this year, but you know, it's whatever. I had fun with the whole DS line family and all that and I was able this was seven years ago when I got this gift guide um, this was at one of the malls about five ten minutes away from my old house um, so it was at the Castleton Square Mall and this I got this when I was on a field trip in junior high so I was able to Get all this, you know, but we'll we'll do a little separate video on this thing. Um, and then we also have other brochures, um, a couple activity books. We have this one. This one was exclusive at GameStop, so I was able to get one of these at GameStop. I went there, and then this one I got at Target. Yes, Target. So. And they show you the whole Nintendo 2DS XL. Pretty awesome console. I mean, the one thing I wish they would have done is put the front camera somewhere else. Because when you see it, when you close it, you can actually see, like, the top half of the camera right here. So, you know, I don't care. But it's a pretty cool system. I love the blue and turquoise, the black and turquoise color. Um, all the, instead of the other ones. And then you have all this. And you have your lines of 3DS games. So like Mario Kart 7, New Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario 3. Like I love 3D Land. Mario Maker, I actually have that digital downloaded on my 2DS. I don't have Zelda. I don't have Pokemon. I do have Smash Bros. though. So it's pretty cool. And then Nintendo released their first brochure, a little brochure of the Nintendo Switch. Um, of course, they didn't do one for the Switch Lite. kind of wish they did. But yeah, I do have Mario Maker 2. I basically have almost every single game in here except for um, Splatoon 2. Uh, I don't play Zelda. I don't play a lot of Pokemon anymore. Um, there's Marvel. Um, don't play much of that. Um, since because I have the Switch Lite, I'm not able to play Mario Party, which is kind of sad. I wish they had it for a handheld edition as well, which would be pretty cool. <laughs> I do have Mario Maker 2. This is on my wish list this year, Splatoon 2. I want the game so bad. They actually have it on sale at GameStop for a very cheap price. I think it was $29.95. No. I forgot. But I'll just show you, I'll tell you guys the price. But it's a doorbuster game at GameStop, which is pretty cool. And if you do buy it, it was a fifty nine ninety nine value at GameStop, but now you're saving thirty three dollars out of it. So, 
pretty awesome. And then here are all the games. So from Mario Kart 8, Super Mario Odyssey, Super Mario 3D All Stars, New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, Rabbit Plus, Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, and then Mario Maker 2. So I have all six of my game cases. So Mario Odyssey, you know, you have your globe trotting adventurer. So you're basically doing a little adventurer around the world. Mario Maker 2, if you want to get a little festive in making your own course, this is the best game for you. And it is multiplayer. Every game I own is multiplayer. So, And then if you want to do a little battling, take Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Best game ever. I haven't completed the whole game yet. I'm still trying to get through one level and it's just too hard. If you want time to rescue the princess, do Survivor Rescue Deluxe. I mean, I know, yeah, it has both versions of from the Wii U, of Mar New Super Mario Bros. U, and then New Super Luigi U. So you're basically going to get a good steal, deal. And then if you want to play some old classical games, like Mario Sun Galaxy, Sunshine, and 64, this is the game for you. I love this. I've been playing a lot of Galaxy more than Sunshine and Mario 64. But this game is by far the best game Nintendo has ever released. And yes, it is only one to two players, and then you can also play handheld mode. <coughs> Sorry, <laughs> had a little cough there. Um, but yeah, you can also use a wireless controller. This is my um, Afterglow controller, if you guys seen the unboxing. But yeah, it is pretty cool. I had YouTube on there. But yeah. I have a whole bunch of games. I have a couple downloaded games. Actually, three. I have Mario Kart Life, Home Circuit, and then I have Lego City Undercover and Fortnite, which is a free downloadable game. You can play it today. I've been playing a lot of that too. So. Oh no, there goes. The all time famous racing game, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This is basically. Um, a replica of Mario Kart 8 from Wii U, um, but they have all the DLCs such as the Mercedes-Benz vehicles and other cups, so it's a pretty fun game. Um, and of course, if you guys want to just do a handheld mode only system, the Nintendo Switch Lite is right for you. Take it wherever you want to go, or if you want to stay at home, put it in a TV, get the Flagstaff, um, Nintendo Switch, which costs more. Um, this console costs $200, and then the other console, the original Switch, costs $300. You all know, can get some bundles to go with it, too. Um, now, Nintendo did release the they released a Fortnite bundle, which includes a couple skins, back blings, gliders, and then I think over a thousand V-Bucks. I'm not for <laughs> I'm not for sure. But um, I did check at GameStop. I was looking at some Fortnite stuff earlier today, and they had the console, the Fortnite bundle console, and it was unavailable at that time. So I was like, well, crap. I didn't need it anyways, because I have this little handheld console. I have so much fun. It's almost it's almost a year since I've had this console. Almost. I think that was like, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks after Black Friday. When I got my credit deluxe, and of course I get my game over Mario hat. So yeah, um, so like I said, rest in peace to the Nintendo 3DS family. I know it's sad, but you can still get them before they all all sold out. Like they're not making these anymore. They're like they're just selling them. People might still be selling them online if they don't use them, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to go full on with the new consoles and systems, the Nintendo Switch Lite and the Switch is best for you. I mean, come on. Best console ever, and they have their own brochure. Um, you can see Splatoon 2, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, Mario Odyssey, Kirby, Yoshi's Woolly World, 
I mean, Nintendo is upstepping their game, you know. I love this little thing, you know. It tells you everything about the systems, you know, and then what comes with it. You know, you have your actual console, Joy-Cons, these dock. So if you want to connect it to your TV, you can put it in there. You have your AC adapter, Joy-Con grip, grip, which could be like a wireless controller, um, straps, and then your HDMI cable. Now, you don't have to use the TV part. You can just use your own way, you know. <laughs> I didn't have to plug this into a TV, so, you know, because you can't. The Joy-Cons don't um, disconnect, and I think that's pretty cool. I mean, especially when they brought this old D-pad back, which, you know, from the word, um, the 2DS and 3DS, they had the D-pad. And then, of course, you have your accessories. You have more control Joy-Con controllers. Um, you have your Joy-Con strips. And then you have your AA battery pack for it. Um, the Pro Controller. I actually got this controller for a cheaper price at GameStop. But this thing costs us a whopping $70. Actually, take that back. $80. So, if you find a cheaper wireless controller for the Switch... You're basically wasting your money on this big thing right here that costs $80. This thing only cost it 30 I think it was. I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> and then you have the Pokeball Plus, which I think is for, um, yeah, for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And then you have your Joy-Con wheels, charging grip, another AC adapter if something happens to the one you got. Um, you can always get a new one. And same thing with the dock. And then you have your little adjustable charging stand for the Switch as well. So, you know, for games, you know, Smash Bros. Ultimate, that's one Mario game I have not gotten yet for this thing. <laughs> um, I thought about it. I'm like, nah, I'll wait for Christmas. <laughs> you know. New Super Mario Deluxe, pretty awesome game, you know. Still saving the princess. Yoshi's Crafted Whip, that's what the... Did I say craft? Did I say Yoshi's Woolly World? I think I did. <laughs> to my party. Um, I've seen videos of this game, but I never played it before. I actually, I don't think I did. Actually, did I? Yes, I did, actually. Um, when they had the Nintendo stands out for, like, demo games. at like, Target. Pretty fun. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Basically, Mario Kart 8 from the Wii U, but you also get the DLC packs included. Um... Breath of the Wild, this was actually the first official Nintendo game for the Switch. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, so 2 2, second version from the first one from the Wii U. Uh, Mario Maker 2, just a little upgrade from the first one. I do have that game. So fun. I think I got that for. No, I actually have that digital downloaded. I think I already told you guys that. Let me show you guys my little menu on my 2DS. Take a little while to look. So. I do have a couple demos. I like this uh, virtual console of Mario Land. And then, of course, Super Mario Brothers 3. And then for... These are the, that's the guest game. There's, this is the game, Woolly World. I have this demoed. This is digital downloaded. I already have the game, so I don't need, I don't think I needed the demo. I play this demo a whole lot. I love this game. I'm almost complete. It's just Bowser Castle. It's just so hard to get through. So, yeah. Who's going to miss that? Who is actually going to miss that part? <laughs> you know? But I hope you guys enjoy this. If this finds this very helpful, make sure to leave a comment down below. And until the next time, guys, say hi. Have a great day. And I'll see y'all later. Peace out, Luigi's.